In just three competition cycles, there have been more than 150 Wholesome Awards prize winners, representing diverse and inspiring sustainable construction projects from across the globe. Most of the projects were still in planning at the time they received their prizes. So what has become of these projects now? Let's have a look at how some of these groundbreaking ideas have become reality in both emerging and advanced economies. One project has established itself as the iconic landmark of a city, the Metropole Parasol in Seville, Spain. Giant umbrella-like forms of wood and concrete cantilever above an historical plaza that was previously a degraded open car park, covering a valuable archaeological site. Beneath the innovative structure, a shaded pedestrian zone and a museum have been created, and local trade revitalized. On top of the canopies, a walkway offers exceptional views of the city, attracting tourists and invigorating local pride. The transformation of a factory with minimum expense was the goal of this project in Ostkamp, Belgium. The community of 22,000 residents had a vacant Coca-Cola factory adapted into an attractive, multi-use city hall and civic centre, where the thermal onion concept reduces energy consumption by fully heating only core zones. The key idea was to not only recycle the main structure and materials, but also to reuse its technical infrastructure and create additional public space. Border control stations must meet strict requirements for security, function and durability. The Van Buren station, located at the US border to Canada, must also withstand harsh winter weather and provide shelter for exterior control operations. The typically large energy demand of land ports is met with a net zero energy goal and a water saving concept. The design presents a welcoming gateway for visitors as well. In Toronto, Canada, an abandoned vast factory and quarry site has been reborn. Historic preservation was made possible by active citizenship and is coupled with a strategy for energy and resource efficiency as well as improving indoor comfort. The project at the Evergreen Brickworks Industrial Heritage Site incorporates a broad approach to the complex task of urban transformation and features an education centre, exhibition spaces and diverse social services focused on promoting sustainable cities. After the city of Constitución in Chile was struck by an earthquake and tsunami in 2010, a reconstruction master plan was developed. It proposed geographical answers as the response to geographical threats. Sensible zoning and landscaping concepts help reduce the potential impact on the city and its 46,000 inhabitants from flooding, tidal surges and tsunamis. Nearly 500 new dwellings have been built and protective riverside forest and park zones are scheduled. The renewal of a notorious informal area of Medellin, Colombia aims to provide the poorest community with the best infrastructure. The entire Comuna 13 district was refurbished. New residential buildings for up to 10 families replaced the basic single-storey houses. This created space for urban amenities, daycare centres, schools, public spaces, even an escalator and a cableway system, which is a vital link to the wider city and employment beyond the precinct. The village of Gando in Burkina Faso is building its own secondary school using traditional building materials. The abundant locally sourced clay is mixed with aggregates and cement to cast walls on site. 
Plants and evaporation are used to provide a comfortable indoor climate through passive cooling. The project is exemplary in its approach to the adaptive use of building materials, community development, climatic mitigation and aesthetics. A project that initiated the change of an entire town is the River Remediation and Urban Development Scheme in Fez, Morocco, which gives back the city its lifeline. Over past decades, the heavily polluted river running through the historic Medina had been almost completely covered. Now it has been laid open and cleaned up. The public spaces along its banks have been upgraded to suit the needs of the people and to improve the overall quality of life. This project lies in Tamil Nadu, in the southern part of the Indian Peninsula. With a low budget, it serves to improve healthcare in this hot and semi-arid rural area. The compact and small-scale building is based on a high-tech medical core, surrounded by a low-tech shell. The peripheral spaces and grass thatch panels cool the building and reduce glare and dust, and also serve as a shaded community area. In a small village northwest of Lahore in Pakistan, this project expands a school for underprivileged girls. The new two-story building includes seven classrooms. All materials are locally sourced, and the traditional building method has been upgraded with effective low-tech measures. To mitigate earthquake risk, the structure is divided into two parts, a ground floor made of cob and a lightweight gallery above made of bamboo. Projects submitted in the Next Generation category, which is open to professionals and students up to 30 years of age, are often particularly visionary, but in many cases, realistic nevertheless. In an area in northern Chile, where rivers are drying up and being depleted by irrigation, a new alternative is being researched so that agriculture can continue. Water droplets are to be harvested from the prevailing coastal fog using 200-meter-high spiral towers fitted with plastic membranes. With ideal conditions, a tower could provide up to 700 liters of water per day. A 1 to 10 scale prototype proved that the concept works and holds great potential. Like many rapidly growing cities in China, Beijing faces significant problems caused by growth in private automobile traffic, where around 1,000 cars are added to the city's streets every day. A parallel and independent cycling network is planned under existing flyovers, reclaiming the fragments of wasteland at inner city highway intersections and incorporating lifestyle components and structures, which makes bicycle use a desirable alternative. The lack of sanitation is a major problem in many underdeveloped neighborhoods. This project in a resettlement precinct near New Delhi provides off-grid sanitation to more than 1,500 people, improving people's lives at the core of dignity and health. It includes a community cluster-based system that can be incrementally expanded by adding rainwater collectors, low-cost toilets, and shared black water collection chambers as funds become available. The Wholesome Awards is a success story with many facets, and the story is set to continue. More than half of the prize-winning projects to date have been built or are under construction and more award winners are on the way. Innovative and oppressive building projects that will tangibly improve countless lives and further inspire sustainable responses to the technological, environmental, socio-economic and cultural issues affecting building and construction. Mm -hmm.